Alright, I didn't post anything on Monday, and that was because I really wanted to let Friday's video sink in. I was calling for a low on AMC at 1480. We did see 1481, and that was fantastic. Love it when those price targets are met. I am looking for a small bounce. We didn't get that. We'll, we'll talk about AMC after I address what happened to American Eagle Outfitters today. I am outraged. Outraged. If you ask me, American Eagle Outfitters is the next AMC. It really is. And let me go into a few things here. Uh, I currently have the daily charts pulled up. So maybe actually we start here really quick. We say, hey, IWM and SPY are both still trading around these really critical levels near 393 and 179. And this kind of retracement actually looks pretty bullish to me. This looks really bullish. And I think that I know that I know this is crazy, but I think we might get some big greens. I know it's like what peak sentiment, like peak bearish sentiment. It's just like, oh my goodness, everything's the worst. But I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If we don't get big, big greens, it's going to be like big, big reds. This is kind of like the, uh, this is kind of it. We're going to see very shortly, very, very shortly, whether or not the correction is halfway done in the broad market or if it's over and we're about to go back up and then go back down because things actually suck. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm waiting for. Anyway, so, you know, VIX today was looking green going up as the markets dropped. No, no surprise there. AMZ finding a low at 1394. I haven't looked at GameStop, though it does look like it's moving through a rising wedge. Um, see, uh, I forget. I can never, I forget people's names in the Discord all the time. But uh, if you do want to be in the Discord, there's a link on, on the profile channel, channel profile page. Click it, join. It's open to chat for everyone now. I do have a VIP booth, which my Capavision subscriber members have access to. If you want access to that channel, subscribe to the premium by hitting join by the subscribe button. It's not there if you're on mobile, I think. You might have to go on desktop. It's $1.99 a month, and I just give you more analysis. And, I, and I'm, I'm tracking my Capavision charts in that channel and I'm pinning them for long-term reference because this is these are big stocks these are big analyses like I'm talking monthly charts weekly charts they're big patterns I'm looking for hey what's Amazon gonna do in the next two or three years is it gonna double again what's crude oil gonna do is it dropping what's gold looking like all these things these are good companies indicators commodities whatever they are to follow so I, these are kind of what I watch when I'm looking at the market in general. So that's all on the Capavision thing. Let's just talk. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I just have a bunch of stuff pulled up here. Uh, I'm going to open up the flexible grid. Oh, yeah. Sundial. <laughs> sundial getting wrecked once again, finding new lows after the reverse stock split fails. <laughs> I wouldn't say it failed, but let's put it this way. This looks like an attempt to try to stay on the exchanges publicly traded. And the, the price is already down 228. So ouch. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. Let's go to uh, America. Eagle Outfitters, and ooh, you're getting some sneak peek at my Capavision chart here. It's huge. There's so much analysis, so much Elliott Wave theory, and this is a really impressive thing I think that American Eagle is doing currently. Uh, we did find a new low today, like seriously. Look at this. Look at this. And we actually got a doji. Look at that. Kunk. What? What happened? Well, guess what? Bank of America, one of the banks that finances the short positions the big short positions it wrote a hit piece well they had an analyst downgrade american eagle outfitter and i was thinking this is silly this is silly that the price dropped that far i mean yeah of course uh, consumer consumer retail is hurting yeah that makes sense let's go look at zoomies you know zoomies did a similar thing today at least it happened when the market was open and as you can see zoomies is still is still in its uptrend it's still in its uptrend right this is probably the big push down that marks the end of the downside i think american eagle outfitters lost its down lost its uptrend it <laughs> just plummeted. But then it ended in this massive doji. Big volume spike, too. Really curious. Really curious. So let's talk about American Eagle Outfitters just really quickly for a moment. I have my browser pulled open here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull it all the way across here. And let's start with short interest. Uh, if you do follow short interest, American Eagle Outfitters has a staggering amount of it. <laughs> 29 million shares, six and a half days to cover, 23% of the free float, and half of that shorting, of course, occurs in the dark pools, whatever. If you do follow short interest, this is something. I also ha I also saw this, this little statement on here, which kind of made me kind of like say, what? 
because they say that the short interest is not self-reported, that it's actually reported by brokerage firms, which I thought was curious. That's not something that I understood correctly, and that's something I learned on Reddit. Man, Reddit's the worst, but here you go. Here you have a company that is shorted to all, to this kingdom come, and it's dropped off its all-time highs, like at $40, and now we're seeing 10 That's a substantial drop, a substantial drop, and... If the markets respond positively to the Fed's actions this week and, and, and the quarterly report GDP comes out and it's not as bad as people think it is, there could be a big green in the market and this kind of short interest could ignite, right? But I don't chase short squeezes. I like American Eagle because guess what? They actually have cash flow. <laughs> so let me just go through really quickly what what happened so bank of america they they said hey this company american eagle outfitters it's going to underperform and then they have this lengthy article that talks a lot about nothing essentially what they what they're covering is that well the consensus analyst price target is actually 18 dollars. <laughs> like what yes the highest prediction is 40 the average prediction is 18 the lowest prediction came in today at eight so out of 14 different analysts' uh, reports, American Eagle Outfitters is a hold with an average consensus price of $18 and a single report released in pre-market dropped the price like a ton, like 30%. <laughs> What? Like it just never ceases to amaze me. This is the nonsense. This is the nonsense right here. These are the uh, institutional holders of American Eagle Outfitters. I didn't see anything here that made me think that maybe these are just companies buying shares to loan out for shorting, but that could be possible as well. I don't see BlackRock in here. I haven't gone on the SEC's website, but you know, honestly, all those reports on the SEC website they're also pretty worthless as well. Because guess what? If you can establish that revealing your public position could hurt your strategy, you don't have to reveal it publicly the the sec is absolutely absolutely useless to me <laughs> i do like gary gensler but i don't i don't trust that that entity is is uh going to help me in any way shape or form okay so let's talk about institutional buying and selling you can see through 2020 uh, there's little red bars through here. I, you might have to be on desktop to see this, but selling increased uh, for the first three quarters of 2020 and it dropped a little bit in quarter four of 2020, but it was still pretty high. We did see some buying there as well. And then we had this big spike in institutional buying and selling the first quarter of 2021. And that was actually a really, really big selling push there. And so this makes sense that the institutions are buying on the way up and then selling at the peak and continuing to sell on the way down until recently, the, the third quarter of 2020, 2021 and the fourth quarter of 2021 we saw institutional buying increase overcoming selling pressure at the last quarter of 2021 come qu quarter one of this year we see that the buying uh, is the inflow from institutions is actually much higher than the selling and the quarter two of course is uh you know those, pro those numbers probably aren't complete maybe they are nonetheless you can see that the total institutional inflows over the last 12 months is greater than the outflows so overall, I know you have institutional buying, and I'm saying this is like probably real institutional buying. These are companies that say, or, or institutions that say, you know, there's a good company here that's making money. And why are they saying it's making money? Because it is. So here's something else too I wanted to show. This is from their last quarterly report. There's something here that I really love to see. There is $30 million authorized for share repurchasing. <laughs> $30 million is not like a ton, but that's a good amount of money to move into the stock. Imagine how much volume that could create. And at the right time, that could be very influential. So we have this massive one-day gap, absolutely massive one-day gap on AOE. We have repurchasing uh, $30 million of repurchasing uh, approved. And this thing could fill, that that gap could fill. In the past, we have seen dramatic drops like this before. Here's a doji doji. These aren't really dojis, but look at that jump and then boom, massive green candles. And so, I, you know, this to me was kind of that sign of strength we found the bottom. And, and this, this is an egregious sin. This is the greed of the short sellers. And I think that this week could be really fun so i actually bought a call down here which was not advisable uh i sold a put uh, you know i've said that too and so that put doesn't expire till august uh, 12th or something it's second week of august so 
The price does have time to recover, otherwise I'm going to be buying those shares, which is fine because I will buy and hold these for a long time. I like the company, they pay dividends, which I do, which I like, and they're going to repurchase some shares, right? They're, American, Eagle, American Eagle Outfitters is interested in returning value to their shareholders. They are, and their Airy brand is doing amazing. So I kind of personally feel that American Eagle Outfitters is the next AMC. This this makes me mad. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm going to do for now. Just a little update. It's hot and sweaty. I'm sure it's hot and sweaty where you are too. Remember, your, your AC consumes enough energy that it pollutes the environment and makes it hotter for everyone. So, ooh, can you deal without AC if everyone could? Maybe we could reverse climate change. I don't know. Whatever, I'm out of here. Happy trading.